Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I'm going to be showing off some of the brand new products from Katherine Puller. This is part of the Feeling Fall release and it features some great fall themed stamps, dies, and hot foil items. So Katherine Puller um, has come out with some hot foil items for the first time and so glad that she has. But first, let me show you this adorable stamp set called Appley Ever After. It also has dies that you can purchase um, with them. And um, these apples are super cute. You're gonna see me demonstrate how I stamped them out in a minute. You've got this really great basket. It's called the Bushel Basket Die. And it's great for all your fall themed cards. The sentiments on that stamp set says, couldn't have picked a sweeter friend, love you to the core, and you're my Appley ever after. So really cute, punny sentiments. And there's also some flowers along with some really cool apples. Now I'm going to show you the paper pad. So this paper pad is Bushel and Peck, it's called six by six pattern paper you get 24 sheets of paper with eight unique designs on 80 pound cardstock. This is very sturdy cardstock. Um, and you don't have to worry about it being flimsy. It's nice and sturdy and it's great for making um, cards with dimension because if you're cutting things out with dies, you know, you're going to be adding dimension probably. And I uh, found that these papers work wonders with these um, cards that I made, which have um, been popped up with foam tape and whatnot. So these patterns go well with the following colors. It's a girl, Samba, Sauna, Deck the Halls, Wintergreen, Spiced and Macchiato inks, which is great about the pattern papers because it tells you which inks go well with these pattern papers. And then we have this fantastic new plate. It's called Swirling Leaves Hot Foil Plate. And I love the color of the hot foil plates from Catherine Puller. I'm so excited that she is getting into the hot foiling market. Uh, this plate actually foils like a dream. And some of the most beautiful cards you'll see that I've created uh, using this plate and some ink blending. Then we have these fantastic sentiments, the joyful thanks hot foil plates and dies, and the large sentiments say big thanks, full of joy, with all my love and thankful for you. And the smaller sentiments say you're a blessing, sending hugs and thank you. Even though I say small, they're nice. They're like medium sized. Um, I use these sentiments on all of my cards. And so you'll see that um, when I'm assembling my cards at the end. Uh, these were easy to hot foil. I didn't have any trouble with hot foiling things. And Catherine Puller has come out with a large rectangle hot foil plate. And that is the teal rectangle plate that you see on my desk. So you're able to foil what we call the leftover or the waste foil. And then there's this great set of sequins called Apollonia. So you can see I'm super excited about this release. I was super excited that I was able to get some of these products um, and share them with you through the generous folks at Catherine Puller. And then I loved this so much that I bought the rest that uh, I needed for this bundle. So that just goes to show you how much I thought this was a great set of products um, for your fall gift, uh, card giving. Also for teachers, especially these apples, you can't go wrong. They are going to be great for your thank you cards or just friendship cards, just to let you, your friends know that you're thinking about them. All right, let's go ahead and get started. What I've done was I have die cut using the dies, various apple shapes. I'm using inks, It's a Girl, Samba, and Deck the Halls to stamp these 
apples as well as the leaves because you have stamps that are leaves. And then I'm using macchiato to stamp the cores and the seeds. Um, as you can see, I die cut first and then I stamp second. I found that it was easier for me to do it this way. And the inks look just so nice matched up with the papers, which you're going to see in a minute here. So you can see I cut a whole bunch of apples um, because you've got four different apple shapes and you can mix and match the stamps to stamp out the apple designs because there's stripes, there's dots, solid with the apple core and then um, a little bit um, open with the apple core. So that's what I did first. I went ahead and I stamped out all of my little apples. Next, I grabbed my glimmer machine and some hot foils from Crafty Critta and from Spellbinders. So this first one is Aura, which is um, Spellbinders. It's a holographic gold color. And next, I have a piece of speckled aura which is gold with speckles it's a spellbinders color and i did cut all my pieces off camera just to, for the sake of saving time i picked out colors that reminded me of fall mm, and leaves so yeah my plate's getting hot as i transition between each color I do pull or release my glimmer plate before I roll it bef before I put that piece of paper and foil on top it helps to prevent me from jerking it too hard and um, misaligning things uh, the color that I just did was red uh, actually I think it's called yeah it's red blast from crafty Krita. This looks like Aura too. Um, that first one might have been rose gold. Um, but I did rose gold and I did Aura in this batch. Yeah, but anyways, my Spellbinders Platinum is really... Oh, that's the red, red Blast right there that I just pulled off the plate. You'll see them all at the end. I'll tell you what they are um, and when I do the reveal, which is the best part. Yeah, my plate is very tight and it's hard for me to pull it out. So I um, will load everything up and I will let that plate sit on there and get hot and then I'll pull it forward. When I pull it forward, I then am releasing it bef before I put my um, paper down. All right, so that's the rose gold. This is the speckled aura. Those are both spellbinders. That is orange. And then I have this um, fall rainbow from uh, Crafty Critta, red blast from Crafty Critta, and winter rainbow from Crafty Critta. So those are the colors that I selected. And I did not uh, film myself. Uh, hot foiling the sentiments, but I did the same process with the sentiments. Now I'm just going to assemble my cards. I found this waffle flower mini stencil mat. Just helps me to keep everything aligned because otherwise, as I'm assembling things, I get a little bit crooked. So I, that's why I use this. But I just am lining up my apples here. You can see I stamped these apples with It's a Girl, mainly, and I used um, Deck the Halls and Macchiato inks, and then I used some of that pattern paper, and then a piece of rose gold foil cardstock as my matte layer. I am popping all of these up onto foam tape, which I said in my introduction how nice these die cut apples work with building up layers on on your card i i i'm in love with these dies and i just 
You can use an apple any time of the year. It doesn't have to be fall or, you know, um, can be any time of year. And um, I really had fun making these cards. I just wanted to let you know that um, some of these products were provided to me, but I did purchase several of these items on my own because I fell in love with this release and wanted to have it all. And there are other products too that are part of this release that I didn't get. Uh, you'll have to check those out. If you if you look in the description box below, I'll have all of the products that I used linked. And if you click on my links to make your purchases, I get a small commission. And that goes to helping me keep my YouTube channel going. Um, thank you if you do shop with my affiliate links. It's greatly appreciated. Today is August the 1st and today Stamp Nation members are able to place their orders and tomorrow, August the 2nd, everybody else can. And I think the hot foil, swirling leaves and joyful thanks are going to sell out um, or maybe they'll have to reorder them. I'm not sure what their plans are. But I really think it's going to go fast. In other words, I don't think it's going to be a slow moving release. Let's put it to you that way. Uh, this, this is just a sentiment. Couldn't have picked a sweeter friend. I'm just finishing off the inside of this card. And the sentiment that I used on the front of the card is thank you, which was hot foiled in rose gold hot foil. Okay, so that's card one. I have been trying to stamp the inside of my cards as I finish them and also stamp the outside with my personalized stamp that says handmade by Tracy Schultz. Um, so you'll see me using that here at the end of completing this card. And again, this is card number one. Let's move on to card number two. For this one, I'm using a pastel pink matte layer. Some of the pattern paper for the mid layer. I have this oval that was actually in my stash. It was actually um, cut like an oval and die cut, I mean, embossed with like um, little dots. So very simple design. Um, I have a piece of pattern paper that was um, from the pack, uh, bushel and pack, bushel and a pack. And I'm going to put that right in the middle of this oval. Okay, and then I have my sentiment, which is big thanks, which is hot foiled. And I used foam tape to pop it up. And again, that paper pack, bushel and a pack. Um, I don't know if any of you are from Pennsylvania, if I have any fans out there or subscribers out there from Pennsylvania. I know I do. I don't know if any of you though know of the saying a poke. So I know a, pa a pack is considered a little bag, but, um, my mother-in-law who has Pennsylvania Dutch roots would always say a poke. Um, when it was time to grab a grocery bag or get a bag to put things in, she would always say, I need a poke. Can someone grab me a poke? And I had never heard that before until I met my mother-in-law. And she said, a poke. It's this that you put apples in or potatoes in. I said, okay, that's, that's new to me. But then when I read about different Pennsylvania Dutch sayings, a poke is a very um, common one. And there's card number two. Big thanks. Love that hot foil sentiment. It is so amazing. Okay, card number three has lots of layers. I'm using two kinds of pattern paper for my matte layers. Aren't those apples just gorgeous? And then I had um, die cut this basket, I call it the basket weave pattern. It reminds me of a basket weave. 
uh, in a circle and then I die cut a piece of green cardstock in a circle and then my bushel which is the die cut basket I use that basket weave pattern on that too and I'm just creating a focal point here I'm going to put some glue on the edges of this bushel not I don't want to glue it completely down I want to be able to tuck these apples down inside this bushel so I grab three apples and you can see the detail here where the apple has a flower in the middle isn't that cute and the leaves and stems well this the leaves go in different directions I just love it I loved stamping these it was so much fun and I think they're super adorable okay so I've tucked my apples there in that and then I have the sentiment next which is grateful for you and that sentiment is in rose gold again I think the rose gold foil looks really nice with the color scheme of these cards and the papers it's a nice compliment and I popped that up with some foam tape as well and that's card number three okay for card number four I used a piece of brown cardstock that I had in my stash a piece of the pattern paper uh, from bushel and a peck which has apples and green and then I have these various die cut apples and some die cut flowers and my sentiment is thank you and again that's hot foiled in rose gold yeah and then what I did was I put my um, rectangle I put in the middle um, on craft paper uh, so that those apples are kind of like on that um, not just floating out there in the middle of the card they're kind of anchored now here's another piece of pattern paper and I'm going to make a similar card as I did earlier with the um, bushel and the apples inside I have this hound's tooth pattern paper from the pattern paper and then I have a piece of cream cardstock that I had just in my stash and basically I'm just creating a layered card front and I think the little bushel really stands out nice on this card with that cream card stock and again I use the pattern paper that reminds me a bit of a basket weave I don't know why it just reminds me of that and when you go to put this down if you're going to tuck your apples inside make sure you don't glue the top or the sides completely because you want to be able to tuck your apples if, if you're going to be making a card that looks like this you can tuck more apples in than what I did but I just put three across the top and then the sentiment is sending hugs and it's done in rose gold and I just pop that sentiment up with some foam tape All right, so that would be card number four, I think. Yeah. I'm going in with some glue just to shore up the edges, make sure everything stays in place. Okay. That is such a cheerful card. Moving on, we're going to create our ink blended backgrounds for our hot foiled panels and I'm using three inks um, for this blending I'm using pucker up catching rays and chiffon I'm using foam dome blending tools and the Catherine Puller paper 
that I'm using is smooth and makes easy work of ink blending. And those leaves are, it looks like they're the gold or they're the, um, the speckled aura, super pretty. That's the Spellbinders Glimmer Hot Foil. And when I ink blend, I just put that first layer of ink down. Then I go back in and blend again over top. Until I get the look that I'm looking for. That is so pretty. A perfect fall background. Just reminds you of a sunset in the fall. And I finished it by putting thankful for you in the middle. And it's done in the same speckled aura hot foil from Spellbinders. Okay, now we've got the leaves hot foiled in Crafty Krita Red Blast. And I'm using the color Flame for ink blending to start with. This is a nice bright reddish orange color. Then Catching Rays. And then finally Chiffon. These three colors really are nice and remind me of candy corn. And I just love how this one turned out when it's done being ink blended. Okay, moving on. This next panel is hot foiled with Crafty Krita Fall Rainbow, which is a rainbow speckled. And then I just used the ink that was left over on my dauber, which was flame. And I just ink blended the entire background. Next, I'm using apricot ink and chiffon ink. And my leaves are done in gold. And after I'm done ink blending all my panels, I go and make the cards and I use some of the sequins to accentuate these cards. But I kind of do this in steps. And at this point, I'm just doing all of my ink blending. And then for this one, I grabbed the big thanks sentiment. And that one is hot foiled with speckled aura. This next panel, I used the aura glimmer hot foil and I have a combination I used earlier, which is pucker up, catching rays, and chiffon, but I just reversed the layering. So on the first card that I made, I used the pucker up on top. This one I'm using the pucker up on bottom. And it looks really nice with this color combination. Um, again, I'm just adding more colors and then I accidentally grabbed a purple ink dauber. I don't know what I was thinking, but it kind of looks nice. So I just went with it and the purple reminds you of the colors of autumn, I think. And when it all fades back, because this is dye ink, it fades a little bit. It actually was one of the prettiest panels of all of them. So sometimes accidents turn out to be happy accidents, right? And finally, I'm just adding some of this beautiful Apollonia sequence mix to all of these card panels. By the way, this one, I have flame ink blended paper as my matte layer. 
And for this one, I have chiffon ink blended paper, which is basically, I take my ink dauber and I blend around the four corners, the four sides of the panel. And basically I'm creating my own colored paper, colored cardstock. So all together, I made one, two, three, four, five ink blended cards that were hot foiled and then I ink blended. I made three, I made four cards with pattern paper and I made two cards using the waste foil. So the paper, the foil that was left over, which this is one of them. This is the speckled aura. I hot foiled it on the new Catherine Puller large rectangle hot foil plate. So basically then it foils the entire card front. And I did the same thing with this one using the regular Aura uh, Glimmer hot foil. Stay tuned here at the end of this video, I will be having still photos of all the cards that I created. Um, if you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you'd become a subscriber. Please um, give this video a thumbs up if you like my cards and don't forget to leave a comment below. I'd like to know what you think about this new release from Katherine Puller. Are you planning on getting some of these items? If so, I can't wait to see what you create. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget everything will be listed in the description box. Have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.